We can have a look at multiplying and dividing sets today and make sure you've been through this a couple of times just to make sure that you've got it all. So the first one we've got um, square root of 6 squared effectively because it's multiplied by itself. Um, you should recognize straight away that that's going to give you 6. And um, when I multiply a third by itself, it's going to remove the square root. So the reason that's true um, is because the square root of 6 times by the square root of 6 is the same as the square root of 6 times 6, which is 36. And, and that reduces down to 6. Again, the next one, we, we don't really even need to write it out fully. Um, if you've got the square root here inside the brackets, and then I'm going to square that. Well, they're the opposite to each other, they're just going to cancel out, and they're just going to leave me with 10. Um, this one at the bottom, you can't really see that number particularly well, but that's meant to be a 6. So this is 10 times by 6 lots of the square root of 10. And all we can do here is deal with the numbers separately from the square roots. They're going to exist as two different things. So what I've got is 10 times by 6, which is 60. And then I've just got the square root of 10 on its own. So all we've got is 60 lots of the square root of 10. So this question's just got this one extra step here. But again, we can just deal with this um, in two separate ways. Um, we can deal with the whole numbers first and then the third separately. Um, because actually it doesn't matter what order I write this out in. What you see there is exactly the same as having um, 2 times by 10 times by the square root of 7 times by the square root of 2. That's, that's exactly the same thing as that. And I've just slightly reordered it. So to sort this out, well, 2 times by 10 is 20. And then the square root of 7 times by the square root of 2 will be the square root of 14. And I can't simplify that any further, so we'll leave it like that. Again, 4 root 3, all squared. Well, this time I do need to expand these brackets out. I know squared means times by itself, so we've got 4 root 3. And then I'm going to multiply that by itself, because that's what squared means. Like that. Didn't actually need the brackets there. So I could have just written 4 root 3 times by 4 root 3. In fact, I don't know why I didn't. Um, but now we'll just deal with the, the whole numbers first. So I'm just going to do 4 times by 4. It's going to give me 16. And I've got the square root of 3 in there times by the square root of 3. And I know that the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just going to be 3. So... I'm managing to remove all of the square roots from this one. So I've just got 16 times 3, which is 48. So division works in exactly the same way as multiplication. So the square root of 22 divided by the square root of 2 is just going to be exactly the same as the square root of 22 divided by 2. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. So the answer is just the square root of 11. Let's look at the one beneath that. A little bit trickier, but if we remember the process of multiplication and we dealt with the whole numbers first, we can do exactly the same thing here. This is just like seeing a fraction with 18 over 9. Well, I know that that's going to cancel to just leave me with 2. So, actually, we've just got 2 root 7. and I can't do anything with the square root of 7, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Again, on the right-hand side, We'll do. We'll deal with the thirds first, because that's the bit that will cancel here. The square root of 91 divided by the square root of 7 is just going to be the square root of 91 divided by 7. And 91 divided by 7 is 13. So I've got the square root of 13, which is the third simplified, and I've still got this 8 lying around over here. So I've got 8 lots of the square root of 13. Final bit here keep the general rule of dealing with the, the whole numbers first and then sorting the thirds out afterwards. I've got 45 divided by 9, this bit here, which I know is going to leave me with 5. And the square root of 35 divided by the square root of 7 is going to be the same as the square root of 35 divided by 7, which is also 5, but that's the square root. 
So the answer is 5 root of 5.